Alright, what's up everyone? Gary with uh, Thick Skinned RC back for a quick update and some background teardown video of the Gen 7 Pro. The IFS conversion has begun. I uh, went ahead and pulled out the ESC, the motor, uh, the front links, um, the front axle, pretty much the whole front half of the truck. Um, see here in the background. Uh, basic process um, basically unscrewing everything that's attached to the front and removing it so we can start the build process um, there's gonna be some mock-up to do I'm probably gonna need some um, some plates here and there in the front I need to figure out where to mount the servo and then once I have the front done I'll tackle the rear um, what I want to do with the truck I, I, I'm probably gonna need some new rear links um, I might go with the Viterra ones I'm not really sure but um, the front came apart pretty easily. Uh, you know, it's been through water a few times. Um, nothing was really rusted or stuck, but you know, I've I've had it apart a couple of times to do other stuff on it. But um, overall, the general goal for the truck is to be a good trail truck. It'll be minimal crawling. Like I said it before, I've got some crawlers, um, so this one's going to be mainly a trail truck and a light basher. And the IFS overall should make it handle better. I know there could be a big debate about that, but generally speaking, for uh, what I'm going to be using it for, I'm, I'm almost certain that the uh, independent front is going to make it handle a bit better. So, but um, all the stuff here I'll probably have up for sale soon too um, in the uh, Thick Skinned RC uh, uh, Facebook group. Um, the front axle is spoken for for a guy out of the Red Cat group. Um, on Facebook, so uh, but everything else should be up for sale here in the next week or two in the uh, thick skin group. If anybody's interested in the, the old parts, the wheels, tires, um, I'll, I'll have it all listed in there. But the uh, Vanquish lockouts did not work on the fat axle without maybe a hammer or applying more force than I was comfortable with. So I'm gonna nix those for now and get the boom ones. Um, they should fit without any problems. So, um, but this is kind of generally what it's going to look like. Uh, pre mock up, obviously. Um, I got to take the parts off the diff um, and just making sure everything fits here. You know, overall width and everything looks good. The diff is going to clear the inside no problem. I'll have to, you know, probably move the uh, body posts. But um, all in all, um, I, I don't foresee too many problems. You know, like I said before, it's not uncharted territory. Some of the guys have done it with the SCXs. So, Look for some more updates on the Red Cat here in oh, probably about two, three weeks. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. Appreciate everyone. Thanks.